What's up Hacker Nation and welcome to the secret letters of a hacker. If you're new to the channel make sure you check out my tutorials where I expose hacker tactics and techniques as well as what not to do. So just like the title says I'm going to share with you the perfect password but first a word from our sponsors. Just kidding I don't have any sponsors just a sick intro. All right, everyone, you see this right here? This is what 10 million passwords looks like. Now, you're probably wondering, after 10 million passwords, what's the perfect password? Now, I went through all these millions of passwords, line by line, one by one, and I wrote them down in green font, and you might not have your PhD, but luckily I have a PhD, which is my password hacking degree and I'll let you in on a little secret what all these passwords don't have in common are cat names so whatever your cat's name is Smokey, Patches, Grumpy Cat it's not in here admin, admin123, password123 whatever your cat's name is Donald Trump 2020 I don't know but I do know it's not in these password lists that hackers have so you're definitely going to want to use your cat's name as your password now you're probably thinking that's pretty sweet and all but how do i create my own passwords and my own custom dictionary well let's jump over to kali linux and i'll show you exactly how to do that all right guys so here we are on kali linux so the first application we're going to use is called cup and that's a wordless creator based on somebody who you are specifically targeting. And then we're going to jump into an application called Cool. And what that does is it spiders a website and returns a list of words that can be used in password cracking for that specific target. And then the third thing we're going to jump into is called The Mentalist. And what that is is a word mangler and it mangles up all the information, passwords, dictionary names that you've gotten from the previous two applications and creates an even larger dictionary file based on that specific target. Let's go ahead and jump into Cup. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the interactive mode. And what this does is it asks us a list of questions targeting a specific person and it's going to create words based on those questions and the first name of our target is William last name is Shakespeare a few moments later so this is where you're going to add more detail more information let's say you know things they like places they've been to um, their favorite food you can go ahead and add it in here to create a larger dictionary uh, surrounding your target. And then it went and outputted a text file for us called William with 4,324 words, specifically based on his name and the information that we are able to input from him. Now let's go ahead and jump into spidering the website uh, using cool. So we'll type in cool and we're going to spider three links deep and we're going to pick all words that are at least five characters long and we're going to output that into a word file called williamswebsite.txt and then this is where you type in your target's website for example example.com so we're just going to go out to example.com and we're going to spider that website, pull out all the words that are at least five characters long and it's going to output it into a word file for us. And then we're going to go ahead and pipe that all into our specific password file for William Shakespeare. And let's just do a word count on William website. And as you can see it found 13 words that are at least five characters long. If we go ahead and cat this, it'll go ahead and output it right here for us. And you can also do a word count for websites and see if there are any words that they use more often that could help you in password cracking. And to do that, we'll type in cool 
dash C, which stands for a word count. And we're gonna do whatever your target is. We're just gonna do, for example, example.com. This is where you'll put in your target website. So if you are targeting a website and you run this and you see, for example, a word that they use 500 times, 600 times, you might wanna go ahead and add that word into your password and dictionary word list because a lot of people use words that are common to them when creating passwords. So let's go ahead and cat William website and we're gonna send that over to william.txt which was our password file from earlier. And now we're going to go ahead and jump into the mentalist, which is a word mangler. So it's gonna take the information that we previously got from cup and from cool, and it's gonna mangle the words up and create a larger dictionary file for us. So we'll jump into the mentalist, and our base word is a custom file, and it is william.txt. And as you can see right now, it's got 4,324 words. Let's go ahead and add a case, and we're gonna toggle between uppercase and lowercase. We know that this company requires at least one uppercase and one lowercase in their password, and let's say they also require a special character, a number, which is the common requirements for passwords. So we're gonna select a number, let's say we're gonna go, we're gonna toggle between three, and let's add another case. Let's say that the first letter is gonna be uppercase as well. Let's go ahead and add some substitutions, and we're gonna replace the A for the at, that's commonly used, the S for the dollar sign, that's commonly used. We're gonna replace the O for the zero because that's also commonly used. We're gonna do it all together. Let's add another substitute. Say the first instance of that at, and we're gonna do the first instance there as well. And now we are up to 17,685 passwords targeting specifically William Shakespeare we're blocking out all the noise from other password lists that might not have anything to do with any information that we have on William Shakespeare. So let's go ahead and prepend it. Let's add some special characters in there. We know that the exclamation point, the at, the dollar sign are all commonly used in passwords. So we're gonna add some of those. We can also add in English word dictionary, we can do common names. Uh, let's do common pet names in here as well. And as you can see, it jumped up to 21 million passwords targeting William Shakespeare specifically based on the information that we were able to aggregate from him. And let's go ahead and process the full word list. So again, we got information using cup, which targets a specific person. Um, you can add information based on their surroundings, their environment, what they like, what they don't like, who they're associated with, their pet's name. And then we went out to their company's website and we spidered their website for the most commonly used word and we added that as well to the password dictionary and then we sent it all to a word mangler so now that the process is completed let's go ahead and take a look at it so here are all the passwords that could be associated with William Shakespeare based on the information that we aggregated from him using social media accounts, using who he works for, who he's associated with, specifically around his environment. Now, if you have a better password than me, make sure you drop it in the comment section below and let's talk about it. If you haven't already shown your support, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on latest videos and latest tutorials. And as always, hack me outside, bro. How about that?